All right, to complete this illustration, I think all that's left to do is to add a little bit of glow behind this fire. And an easy way to do that is by using one of Fire Alpaca's many filter tools. Uh, to begin, I am going to select the, the pink to orange gradation layer and I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, the duplication button is in the bottom right. Uh, it looks like two pieces of paper stacked on top of each other. Uh, and as you see, I, when I pressed that, there became two layer sixes. For the filter, I'm going to select the one beneath it. So whichever one's lower. Uh, and then for the glow, I'm going to use a Gaussian blur. Gaussian just means uh, uniform blurriness that isn't like in any direction, it's just in all directions. Uh, the strength of the blur increases as the value increases on this bar, so the higher it's set, the, the more blurry it is. And so that can just be toggled to whatever I want. I think that looks pretty cool, and you just hit OK to confirm. After that, I'm going to change the blending mode on this layer to make it slightly different. Uh, each of these different blending modes do a different thing. Uh, you can just go through and see whichever one looks best for the situation, but like, lighten might be interesting. It didn't really change it that much. Uh, my personal favorite is Dodge, which is very similar to Color Dodge on Photoshop. Uh, and that just really enhances the colors. Hard light is also pretty, pretty interesting in this situation. And that's also pretty, pretty different. Uh, what I did there is I just switched the order. I put the layer that's set on hard light blending mode on top of my flat color. And that changed the color quite a bit. See what Dodge does that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Soft light doesn't do too much. I kind of like hard light on that. That's it without, and that's with with it. I could just leave it like that with it behind. And that's pretty much how to do it. Um, just mess around until you find something that you like.